If we look at it closely, all he's trying to do is to send out a very strict message to people who think that the way they used to do things in hooliganism and snatching ballot boxes, he's trying to say it will not be tolerated. So I'm using this medium to appeal to people to please ensure that they do not engage in election violence and hooliganism. Um, the people that you might want to try to snag ballot boxes for, after a minute and something happens to you, they do not care. They have their children safely tucked away somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they never ask their own children to do the dirty jobs that they're telling you to do. So please save yourself the trauma. So please, let's shun this and let's ensure that there is free and fair election. How else do we claim democracy in our, in our, in our states? And in our country, if we aid those who want to win elections, I'm saying this without any sense of bias. That Malam Nasir El Rufai is someone I know who only deals with people based on what they bring to the table, their competence, and their capacity. He does not look at the religious background of a person that has never come to play. He's surrounded by Christians that work with him. It does not matter the religious inclination or ethnicity of a person. What should matter is what the person can do in terms of competence. So I need you to please not blame him or accuse him of trying to be uh, biased religiously by his choice of a running mate. I think it's commendable. There's a reason God has created us differently. There's a reason he has given us different religions and ethnicities and these diversities should strengthen us not divide us so please let's shun people who try to use these uh, uh issues who raise issues out of these cases as a reason uh, to divide us and put hatreds in our minds uh, towards each other